why didn't I just go to my regular post office? Why did I just go to my regular post office? Jeez. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. I'm coming to you today with another story time. And the title is, I think the title will be, All I Want is a Stamp. <laughs> and that's not really true because I didn't need a stamp. But, well, I guess I did. I guess I did need a stamp. But anyway, I was going to actually mail something off to one of my YouTube folks. And I went to a different post office that I generally go to. Because I go to my little post office and my post office, you know, I, I, I'm a creature of habit. And I go to my little post office and they know me and they be like, oh, here you go with this P.O. box. Some folks are sending you stuff or, you know, or I'm getting letters and stuff. You know, they, they kind of know. They know I'm a little YouTube dude. And um, I went to a different post office to go ahead and get this thing shipped out. And then, of course, we got to have one of these moments that create these story times. This was actually yesterday. And I go in and I'm got my little package and I'm going up. You know, I have everything all wrapped up already because I take care. I do, you know, when I'm mailing off t-shirts and stuff, when I'm making t-shirts and stuff, I, I got everything taken care of before I ever walk in the post office, before I ever get in the line. All, I'm quick. I go in, I bam, I hit you. They drop it on the thing, slap the poster joint and send it off. So that's why I said, yeah, all I need is, it's really, I, that's, I guess that is really like getting a stamp. So that's all I needed. All I want is some postage and, and you to just mail my letter. I don't need anything else. And I get up to the counter. And then it became a whole episode. A whole episode. I did another story time that happened like two days ago. So I was already still kind of over the general public. Okay. So just didn't help. Anyway. But um, I ought to be able to let shit go. That's that's one of my issues. I pray about it all the time, but I don't just be able to let shit go all the time. So I still was running on high with dealing with the public. And I say, um, you know, I'll put the little thing up there. And the girl looks at me and she says, hmm. look at my face. Hmm. Your nails are longer than mine. And when this stuff happens, see, <laughs> and it should this and this is good because it shouldn't happen this often. It should not happen that often that people are talking out the side of their goddamn face to you when they ain't got no business. Especially when maybe you don't think I'm as old as I am. When you look at me, thank God, that's a blessing. That when people look at me a lot of times, they don't know how old I am. And I could tell you that this little girl. I'm old enough to be her father, okay? So, from the door, I'm old enough to be your daddy, okay? And um, I, I can't, I don't, anyway, we're going to get into it. Right, we'll get into it. So, I, she says, you know, mm, your nails are longer than mine. And my patty was on. At the counter. Okay. Tell me, ma'am, what these fingernails got to do with me getting some postage on that little thing there. What do these nails got to do with that? And now she looking at me stupid. Because I guess I was supposed to be just as ignorant the fuck as she was. Yeah, I said, see, you got a good job here. A nice little job. I actually worked here for a few days. Down to the post office. 
So I know what the post office pays, and I have friends who have retired from the post office. I know what you make, especially for the job that you do. Got a good girlfriend right now, did what you do for 35 years, same position. I know what you make, and you've done well for yourself to be the age you are. But keep in mind, you are a service worker. And your good thing here, it could end tomorrow because there's people who are waiting for your job. There are people who work right in the post office who are literally sitting and waiting for your job. Everybody in the post office don't want to be outside delivering mail or back in that back or back in that that cold ass area sorting mail they don't want to be over there they're waiting for this position here that you're at to open up and my thing is it's so much easier for you to shut your mouth follow the rules come in here sell the stamps and keep your good job Truly. Said I was a service worker, not just in the post office. I was a service worker for years and years. And I know that you can't just say what you want because your personal shit, you're supposed to leave that outside. However you feel about people with fingernails that like my fingernails that are longer than yours, don't nobody care. I came in here to get a service worker to sell me some postage. And mail my letter off. I didn't come in here to get psychoanalyzed by some young little girl. You don't know nothing about psych, about, about my psyche. And she's like, uh, well, no, it wasn't even all about all that. It was oh no, but it was about all that. See, I looked at your body language. I looked at your face. You got a problem with the fact that my nails are longer than yours. What is it that you want to do? You got a good job. You want to pay to get them done? I don't like mine as short as you are. I'm a completely different type of creature than what you are. I said, you got on that bra that ain't no good, that ain't holding your titties up, and you got a hole in your sweater. But see, I didn't come in here and point all that out. That's some shit I would never have going on because I'm way too pulled up for that. But you're walking around in here with an old raggedy bra and an old toe-up sweater on and some short-ass nails. But you got a problem with me and people like me whose nails are longer than yours. I said, now, I'm just going to say, I'm be, I'm being nice. Because, see, I ain't real, real petty. I'm just a little bit petty. Because, see, I could actually go and push the issue. And you wouldn't be here being a service worker anymore. By the end of the week, I promise you. I promise you. With this whole conversation we're having here, by the end of the week, I could make it so that you're not a service worker anymore, that you actually have to have a service worker, you know, a case worker. Ever heard of them? So all I'm saying is straighten up your face, fix your sweater, get a better bra, put the postage on the shit, and stop trying to psychoanalyze the customers because we're not interested in none of that. And don't worry about why my nails is longer than yours. You might want to get some longer nails. Might make you feel a little better about yourself. Now, there's people in line. They kiki and a crack of that. Men and women. And I wasn't trying to be loud. You know, they was just, you know, it's quiet in the, in the post office. And I said, you know, and I said, I said, and I ain't mad with you, baby. But again, you made the mistake with the right person. Don't do it again because you'll fuck around and you ain't going to have your your good job here being a service worker because everybody not as nice as me, especially people like me who have longer nails than you. We don't play them games. Those days are over. <laughs> said, but you go ahead. This is a teachable moment. And I am old enough to be your father, honey. You're disrespectful as hell. Well, it wasn't about all that. I said, go ahead. Keep on. Keep on. Because in a minute, my face ain't going to be like, like, like it is. And my face going to be twisted up like yours. And remember what I told you about that caseworker? You're going to have one. Put the postage on the letter, honey, and let me get on out of here before this shit get ugly. Child, and the people was just snickering and kiki. And I said, 
She slammed my little package around. I went on. I said, mm, this old dumb black bitch. You know? Oh, I said, oh. I said, it's just ridiculous. Why you got to be one of ours, honey? Just acted ugly. And that's what she was. You know, I lives for my girls, honey. But she was exactly what I just said, an old, dumb, black bitch. Because it would take an old, dumb, black bitch to sit in a line and call herself being rude because she was trying to clown me. You said shit out loud for someone else to sit to hear to kiki at me, but now people ain't kiki at me. They kiki at you because you got the sissy with the bad mouth. Nobody, you got to watch because you know there's some sissies that take shit and there's other sissies that have sharp tongues that give shit. I'm one of that group. Don't be trying to front on me when I'm trying to get a little bit of posting. I said, damn, why don't I just go to my regular post office where the girls there live for me and the guys, they live for me. I'll never have none of that type of bullshit. When I roll through, everybody, you know, I, and I generally don't have problems, period, because I'm so secure with me that people read it and they know it. And they're like, child, that's just him. And it is what it is. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Because those are people that got good sense. You know, the service workers who may not care for what you are or how you are at all, but they'll never let you know it. And that's what you're getting paid for. You're getting paid. When you work at the post office, trust me, that position of standing there selling stamps, baby, there's only a few of those positions. And they are literally waiting on some motherfucker to die to get that position. And you're lucky enough to have it, making good money. You got good hours. And you want to risk it by sitting in there being the fancy bitch that says something smart to the gay guy. Girl, you got to be losing your mind. You have got to be losing your mind. I, child, not in this life. Not in this life. I always said that. You know, you know, I'm fast. I'm a quick reader and I'm quick with it and I can do it. When I worked for the phone company, child, trust me, I worked for the phone company for years, years. And I'd be lying to you if I tell you that I sat on that phone out there. Baby, I sat on that phone. I read the fuck out of them people. Child, I would do it. I would do it just as good. I'll read the shit out of them. You think I learned how? Child, I've been learning how to read since I was in my early days, honey, 16, 17 years old. Baby, I've been reading. Reading. I sit on that phone, honey, and be talking to them people, honey, about their bills, and they be saying that old smart ass shit, and I would sneak read the fuck out of them. They'd be there hung up that phone and don't figure it out, and I know they would do it because I was I'm good at I wasn't was good at I'm good at it. I'm still good at it now. I do it now. Y'all can see it on YouTube. When I go in on a bitch, I say shit. You don't catch everything that I'm saying. If you do, you good. That you catch everything that I'm saying while I'm on and you're watching. Tell me that I'm lying in the comments if you have never watched the video of me getting a bitch together. And then later on say, oh, you know what? I know you did because I've practiced. I've practiced. And it worked very well for the job I did. But yeah, I've done it. I've done it. I noticed some folks good, two days later. I said, that's so good. Got, fucking got me. Yep, got you, bitch. And that's what you do. There's a way to do everything. But thinking you be in the shit, trying to get that instant gratification, trying to get a chuckle off of somebody else, and you in the servicing, girl, you crazy. You crazy. Because you may run into an old slick-ass reader that's better than you. And they'll walk their ass right to the other part of the post office and have your ass out on your ear down to the welfare office trying to see if you could qualify for some stamps and you won't be able to because you'd have made too much money in the last three quarters. Now, who's dumb? The service worker or the sissy buying the stamp? I was nice and I was lenient today. My petty wasn't at 100. But, I, you know, I try to stop. I try. I stop myself from that kind of stuff because I don't, you know, I don't know this woman's life. I don't know. You know, I mean, she was a bitch. 
far as I was concerned. She was a bitch. She deserved to get what she got. I embarrassed her and people laughed at her in the line. Now, she deserved that. But I'm not going to go as far as to say, you know, I don't know if that woman has children. I don't know if she has a husband. You know, she may have a husband that's not working, that has a disability or or is off work or or don't have all his hours. And, you know, I don't know what her, her real life is. And I don't want to be the person that says, okay, I'm going to have her job taken away from her. And then, you know, shit, I don't know. They could be living on a damn street. You know, but you didn't care about that. You know, you didn't care if I was a, a, a timid soul that can't take people laughing at me when you tried to embarrass me and a lot of the people, because I could have very well been one of those people who you uh, rabbed me about my nails and the people kiki and carry on in the back and I go out the door and blow my fucking brains out. You don't never know who you're dealing with out in these streets. But I definitely, I try to take some pride and don't. I don't want to be that evil. But I could very well be, and I and I know how far and how quickly, especially a job like the post office, they ain't having it. And especially the post office, where they're literally, we're buying people are buying stamps and buying postage. Honey, that's a dying form of currency. Trust me, if you think I'm lying, look it up. That's a dying form of currency. Everything's being done online, baby. They struggling. They are struggling. When I got my job for the post office, I only worked for the post office for a short period of time. When I got that job, I was amazed at how detrimental upselling and stuff like that was in that part of it and trying to get people to actually use postage and actually mail things. I had no idea that internet buying was really wearing the post office out. The regular USPS, baby, the internet and Fed, between the internet, FedEx, and shit like that, they are wearing their asses out. People are finding less and less reason to buy stamps and stuff. They're working their way around it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And you in there, you got the, some of the people who they are valuing as customers who are still using this regular, traditional way of mailing things. And you, because I could very well, I don't have to use USPS to mail all shirts that I sold. I could use FedEx. FedEx will come to me and pick up the packages. I could use UPS. They'll come to me and pick up the packages. They will take your ass, rake you over the coals, and fire the shit out of you. Please don't be, don't be, don't be fooled. Ain't no joke out there. Shit's real in the field. But she was a goofy old dingbat, putting her job at risk, all about trying to crack a joke, and you ain't no damn comedian. I said, girl, you was real. You been paying attention to Monique too much, honey. Hello, my love. Girl, don't listen to her. Don't cancel your Netflix and stop trying to crack jokes on the customers, you dumb bitch. Anyway, I done went on enough about this. I'm out of here and I'm going to see y'all later. But remember, a sneak read is always the best read when you're at work. When you're at work, learn how to sneak read, honey. Learn how to sneak read. It works on your job. It keeps you employed. You read the shit out of a person. As long as they don't figure it out until a little bit later. You light their ass up, honey. A sneak read will, ooh, a sneak read leaves a good old chuckle in your belly. You know they didn't get it, but then you'd be like, mm -hmm, honey, especially for somebody you're going to see again. Honey, they see you and you, when they look at you and they, you know, mm -hmm, that bitch got it. I got her, honey. Poof, gotcha, bitch. Anyway, let me take my petty ass on out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.